Western people because they have absolutely no understanding of the jinn, then they, they talk about these creatures who are called reptilian and that this reptilian they <coughs> occupy many of high society's people. They run and govern many organizations and then the ones who want to critique it, they make fun of it and say, oh look these people say like they're like lizard people, they're going around and they're overtaking the human person and becoming lizard people. No, it has nothing to do with that at all. This is a breed and a category of the jinn whom are unseen and that when they manifest and they manifest in the in the nature and in the character which Allah gave to them of a reptilian form that they are green, they look like lizards and they have a different shape and different shapes and they are of a dirty nature, violent nature and that their food are the flesh and bones of mankind. That these creatures are of a subtle nature and they don't need to occupy somebody in a physical realm because they're not physical. They occupy humans by possession, they possess the human being and once they enter into the human facility or, or the human being they take overtake all of their faculties of that insan. They see through their eyes, they talk through their lips, they move through their hands and the appetite and the desires that they have overtake that human being and that human begins to no longer eat like insan. So it means that these are a category of possession, these are a category of the jinn nations and it's very easy for them to overtake this dunya. So when people don't understand that how, how do they have the ruling class? Well because they operate under a different set of rules, they merely enter into them. And they overtake that individual and now they operate and own everything that individual owned. Whatever corporation he had, whatever home, whatever house, whatever that individual owns, that jinn now owns it, runs it and occupies it. Allah only knows what type of nefarious activities are involved with these people. Even they begin to look not human anymore. Just shout and we'll hear you. Okay. So hi, my name is Nicole Kiprilov, I'm a junior studying political science. Um, first of all, thank you so much for being here Mr. Podesta. Oh there we go. Okay, so you've talked a lot about Trump, his administration, Clinton, the election. I'm wondering if you can address some of the controversies or maybe just conspiracy theories tied to you, your brother and the Podesta group. So whether that's your personal email leak as it relates to Pizzagate, the undisclosed 75,000 shares of stock you received from the Kremlin, potentially violating financial disclosure laws, Uranium One being a client of the Podesta Group, why your brother left the Podesta Group after facing criminal inquiry. As an aspiring person in politics, I'm curious as to how you're dealing with all of these accusations. Thank you. Uh, this is how the alt-right does fake news. <laughs> um, uh, you know, and it's personally painful because a lot of this is really total bullshit. And I am sick of the, you know, I mean, I have been, my, my family and I have been put through this Pizzagate bullshit uh, for, from, for now for a year, uh, which has been totally debunked, by the way. Uh, my relationship with the company that you're talking about, which was based in Boston, an American uh, innovative company, I fully disclosed, and Fox has had to correct that twice. I could go down the rest of your list. I have no relationship to the Podesta Group and haven't for 15 years. Uh, so, I mean, we can, you can stick with it. And I'm the one thing I will tell you is you have a lot of company uh, on the internet and on Twitter. So, have at it. So, it, Thank you. do these kinds of... Uh, one of the things that keeps these alive is people say, well, there, there's got to be some fire there with all the smoke. So is there... That's... Uh, yeah, that's... That, is it, that that's is, what keeps it alive, right? Isn't it? Partly is that supposition and then that's... You're saying that also the Russian trolls, alt-right trolls are... Well, I, what I'm saying... Smoke. 
what I'm saying is uh, I'm I'm proud of my public career. I've I, I've I've executed with with dignity and honesty and with uh, and uh, have never been accused of ethical violations. And, you know, the people can do what they want to do uh, and it'll it'll be propagated. I bet I will guarantee you on Alex Jones and these other and, and these other sites. But it's not true. 